three. All right. <laughs>welcome back to the channel on today's video the bennett transportation truck is finally finished and all it needs now is just a good coat of wax and a wash because currently it's really dirty yeah he's gonna wash it first yeah he's gonna wash it first and when i say wax i'm kind of like undermining the entire process of what's actually going on which is a ceramic coating yep so it's uh he's doing like a i think it's a five-year ceramic coat on this it's pretty cool we've done trucks in the past mm -hmm. and the colors get way deeper much glossier yep uh really looks pretty awesome no no it, it it really really changes the look of a truck um you know we did it on our, our personal vehicles as well i mean you can tell a massive difference uh whenever whenever you do the paint correction and the ceramic coat oh yeah yeah if you keep up with it the the truck stays cleaner if you clean it right i mean mm -hmm. you can't really run it through blue beacon a whole bunch but you know if uh <laughs> If you keep up with it pretty good, it'll it'll last a good long while. Yeah. But uh, anyway, that's what this video is about. So uh, we're going to let ProLine do their magic, show you guys the whole process, and then we'll pull this thing outside and give you the full tour of the truck. All right, let's do this. All right. applying here it's a system x uh, it's their new uh, max g plus they released it at SEMA, and uh man it's if you want a good show quality ceramic coating this is it a g plus stands for gloss plus okay so we're you're getting you're getting this thing knocked out pretty good now it's i swear at watching you doing this this is this is just like painting it's like all prep man and the and the like the lesser amount of work is applying. 100%. But if you don't make the surface perfect, then... Yeah, it, I always like to do a little bit of a, at least like a gloss enhancement on some paint. Uh, yep. You know, before we apply a coating. For one, it just cleans it. Cleans it better, better surface for the coating to bond to. Um, but I mean, who wants, who wants to lock in all those scratches though? You know? Right, <laughs> That's yeah. That's thing. <laughs> Things looking awesome, so. If you touch this thing, it's, it's super slick. You can tell on the paint right now. Now he's got the coating on it, it's quite different. So uh, it's, it's pretty awesome. We got the emblems off, so we got all behind the emblems real good. We'll put the, we'll put the emblems back on when he's completely finished with it. But I mean, I'm pretty excited to see this whole thing outside in the sunlight when you get finished with it. Oh God, me too. That's gonna be the best part. This has turned out to be a really awesome looking truck. I think it'll, uh, I think it'll turn some heads going down the road for sure. Ready? All right, we got this thing out of the shop. I'd say in the sun, but it's overcast. We got a little bit of overcast, but it still looks really good. There's no direct sunlight on the purple for us to show exactly what that legendary purple is going to look like, but 
you guys can take our word for it. It looks pretty cool. We showed you guys a lot of legendary colors on this channel before, so you, you, you know what the story is. Dude, it looks... Yeah, Adam with ProLine knocked it out of the park on the detail job here, the, uh, the ceramic coating that he put on this truck. I mean, this truck is so shiny and like the color is deeper now than it once was. We really should have done like a before and after on one panel. It like, would have been cool. Yeah, just to show the, the difference in depth. I don't know if the camera could have picked it up or not, but like standing there next to it side by side, whenever he was doing it on one part of the, the door, and then seeing it like the how half of the door wasn't done. Yeah. I mean, you could you could tell a big difference. Like the depth in the paint was. It's it's it, it's it's a significant difference. It's huge. I mean, I'm pretty sure. So if a bug hits that that truck, it's just gonna speed up. <laughs> it's gonna shoot right off the truck. It's just gonna go faster. But uh, let's go over. Like this is a this is a freaking awesome ride. We've been doing videos on it, um, and it is now ready to go. This thing is going to Louisville. And it is going to be in the Bridge Hall booth, which is a, a sister company, or I guess you could call it a sister. Yeah, like a sister company to Bennett. Yep. And so uh, the Bridge Hall booth is uh, is going to be at Mid America. If you want to see this truck in person, go find the Bridge Hall booth. It'll be in there. And this thing is uh, it's worth making the trip over to look at for sure. Yeah. No, it looks really good. The guys here in the shop knocked it out of the park. It's. Um, no, I mean it's it, it's it looks really 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 awesome. So. Um, you want to start? Let's start with the back. Let's start. Let's start in the back. Yeah, I mean we always start in the the front. So yeah, why not? Let's start in the back. So right off the bat, uh, we got 12 gauge front and rear T bar shift fenders. Uh, we painted obviously the entire chassis and deck plate and everything else. The deck plate in this truck is actually from 12 gauge as well, um, and it's got these RGN ramps, which are super slick looking. And you know, there's gonna be a lot of people in the comments that tell us exactly what those RGN ramps are for. I mean, Brian, you could ask me what those RGN ramps are for. What are they for? I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I see them a lot. <laughs> I mean, so like, but this is the first set we've ever put on. And, uh, and I had to ask a lot of questions to try to figure a bunch of stuff out. And I've never really watched anything in person with them or paid attention, I guess, but. I see them a lot on the trucks that are pulling the, the detachable low boys. Yeah. So I assume it's got something to do with that. Apparently, <laughs> something to do with that. Uh, but uh, you know, if you ask a question in the comments, I don't know. If you want to, in the comments, give us a better explanation, that'd be cool. We'll learn something today. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I read through it. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we can all figure it out together. Uh, we got Iowa Customs rear hub covers on this thing. Peter polished the wheels out on it. It looks amazing. Um, got our airline, stainless airline box in here. You know, the customers came over and looked at this truck in person, what was that, about a week ago? Yeah, and, and it was like super dirty and still in pieces. It was dirty and, and still in a couple of pieces, but they said one of the things they really liked is how uh, we took the generator apart and painted the generator the same color as the, the truck. Oh yeah, it's uh, that right there is more work than, than like you look at it, like no oh, big yeah. deal, we'll just take it apart. Yep. It took longer than I anticipated. Yeah, as most things we do when the first time we do it is. Do you remember the first time we put on one of those uh, three-piece grills? Yeah, I yeah. Mean, we that can was do it. Deal. We can do it a lot better now, but I mean, it's it's the learning experience of doing it the first time. Uh -huh. So yeah, that was uh, I, I was here that day. That was a pain. But it uh, it looks awesome. So we, and then after, as we were doing it, we took all this apart. We even took these dudes out, and it still got some little paper stuff or fibers on it. But um, took these out, polished the 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 latches and the, the rivets. Hinge. Um, Peter polished the uh, fuel caps there. Painted the tanks to match. Man, at this angle, you can really see that purple. Oh, is the uh, is the sun out over here? Yeah, it's kind of like it's hitting it a little bit right there. Yeah, we sh we really need one of those flashlights for days like today. I these know. these overcast. All right, so who makes this this uh, light? That is a uh, Roadworks uh, Jewel watermelon light. And then we've got uh, Iowa Custom shock box cover with our uh, hidden penny lights down there in the bottom kind of deal. And then 12 gauge made us the Twisted Emotions logo we put on the shock box. And uh, the 12 gauge covers. airbag covers. Yeah, those, those look really good. Um, you know, this truck was a lot of work when it came in too. Fuel tanks, we had to move the fuel tanks, put them in the right place. 
we had to do a bunch of work on the roof cap for lights. And, uh, but it's nice because we got everything exactly where we wanted it. Yeah. And it looks really good. How about this? Dynaflex. Oh, yeah. Big eight inch rod picket elbows. I mean, you can't go wrong with a set of Dynaflex tacks. They look awesome. Uh, we got our hidden, or it's not really hidden. It's Why just, am I saying hidden? I don't yeah. know what I'm doing. It's just I don't know F, what I'm doing. It's just an EFTA bracket. It's just a place to put your EFTA stickers. But uh, that's a 12 gauge deal. We sell it on the website. Um, 12 gauge boxes, billet step plates. We got the uh, strapless breather kit and breather chops on it from 12 gauge as well. So, you know me. Mm -hmm. and no, no I, while. I don't. What's one thing that I'm almost always against? Uh, chrome window chops. Yeah. They look good on this truck. They really do. <laughs> I, you know, I was looking at that, and that was the first thing I was thinking is I'm camp I really can't believe Brian went for that. I mean, drivers want what drivers want. And so, you know, when we were working with Eric on this build, you know, that's what he wanted. So, yep. but. He actually said, he actually said, uh, just, he was like, uh, do what you want. Like, you can do it either way. And me and Shock contemplated it for a while. So and, you uh, chose that? Yeah. Wow. And it was like, it was like, you can do it painted or you can do it stainless. And then me and Shock were looking at it like, it It looks pretty good with stainless. We held it up there and that's what we went with. It really does look really good. I I, I would have went that direction. Of course, I'm, I'm kind of old school. I like a lot of stainless anyway. Yeah. Man. It's just freaking awesome. We got 379 headlights, and uh, we had to shave these dudes, weld all this in, grind it, and do a bunch of work, paint them, make them fit on there. But they turned out awesome. These uh, fender braces, the fender braces are pretty awesome. Yeah. Are you wanting me to give it away, or are you going to do it? No, you can give it away. Uh, it's, well, it's because the reason they look so good is because uh, Brian sent them off to uh, S and H and had them chromed. Yep. So we did the front and the rear ones and had those chromed. And the biggest thing is you got a stainless grill. And when you get the stainless grill in there and you get, even if you polish those aluminum pieces, you can polish them till you're blue in the face and they'll look nice, but they won't match the same kind of color and shine as a stainless does. Yeah. So doing these chrome ones really, really helps it a ton. Yeah, and that was, that was one of the first things that like stick out to you when you pull the truck out of the shop here, is how pretty those are. And they'll always be pretty. They're easy to keep up with. They don't get water spot, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's yeah. pretty, that's pretty awesome. That's the benefit of chrome, right? Yeah. We got a 20 inch, uh, 12 gauge buzzard bumper. Oh, oh man, you know what? What? We should do the little flippy switch thing inside. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do a, I'll do a switch flippy. Really switch good at flipping flippy. switches. No shoes. I know. <laughs> a second ago, I watched you uh, kind of crawl out of this thing. There's a joke about the no shoes thing. We've been yelling at everybody. There you go. Cool. Yeah, we had a friend who came and looked at the truck the other day, and uh, she, yeah, she doesn't really know show truck thing but she uh you know opened the door and she was like i've never been in one and she just climbs right up in there and i was i, was, I had a bit of a panic attack but it's okay <laughs> it uh the truck is a three we'll walk step back this way so you can see it it's a I'm close the door i thought you were going to the interior, interior next but the truck's freaking 320 wheelbase yeah big long wheelbase to it yep so it's a 320 wheelbase. It's got the big Cummins, which we need to flip the hood because there is a lot of PDI goodies under the hood of this dude too. And it looks amazing. Well, we also need to look at the interior as well. Oh, interior. We've not, even, not even covered that part yet. The interior no. is really sweet. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, man. It's just an amazing looking truck. No, I'm, it's it's one of those. Hey, I bet, I bet you want to keep it now, don't you? I, you know me, I keep every one of them. Yeah, I know, but then we'd, then we'd have a yard full of shop pets and we'd also be bankrupt because, <laughs> <laughs> because you have to make money in order to keep doing this. But we'd be the coolest bankrupt dudes with trucks ever. 
I mean, until the bank came. There's a lot of assets sitting around for the bank to get back. <laughs> so uh, Eric sent all this interior stuff over to us. Um, it's got the uh, the floor, the acrylic floor, um, seat bases, step plates coming in. Painted all the dash pieces purple. And then uh, in the back back here, it's got the Iowa Customs on both sides. Um, their cabinet set up with all the drawers in it. And then, you know, all of our all of our cabin doors, all that stuff's all painted to match. Hey, Brian. Yeah. Sun's out over here. Come and check oh, us out. Oh, oh, We got a hole in the clouds. Look at this. Gosh, look at them tanks. Oh yeah, right here. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a big difference. Yeah, you just gotta get up on them tanks. Look at that thing. That is incredible. It's pretty amazing. I love, like purple and orange go together so well too. They really do. I mean, a lot of people are gonna be like, it's a Joker thing, but like Joker's colors were like a brighter purple. It's, I didn't even think about that when you said that. It's but. probably the right, I think it's the right orange, but it's definitely not the right, right purple. purple. It's not the right purple. But yeah, I mean that. This is like dude, a heavy paint metallic so gray. Though I mean Adam, Adam's very talented at what he does. We ready to open the hood? Okay. Grab this end. Yup. So, going over all the stuff under the hood of this dude. Um, it's got the Dynaflex air intake kit on it. We got a PDI manifold. Oh yeah, we've got, uh, dang it, what are they? Uh, the little covers. Oh, the socks? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, road, uh, uh, something skins. It's not, uh, hood skins. Hood skins. Yeah. Hood skins. I almost said road, but I, I know that's not right. <laughs> hood skins. Uh, arms to match. Eric sent those down for us to put on. And then, um, yeah, you got, uh, yeah, your PDI intake. We got the fill tube. You can see we got, uh, our air dump kit put on there, all wired in. It's pretty slick. There's something missing. What's missing? The, the, those, the safety flippy thingy. Safety second, Tommy. Safety second. Got it. I, I forgot. I forgot our new shop motto. If there's not an injury every day, we've failed. Not trying hard <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's awesome. Also, it's got the PDI oil cooler on the other side, too. And the tuner. It's literally got all the PDI stuff. Okay. And over here, even, uh, I mean, I forgot to mention, inside the uh, visor's painted purple to match. I kind of, I can't wait for everybody to get to see this thing next week at Mid-America. I mean, I'm, I really want to drive it down the road is what I really want to do, <laughs> but this thing just got completely detailed top to bottom. So we're let just going to have to have the miles on it going to the show. Yeah, we're just going to have to have Eric keep a close eye on everything. It's like, look, we haven't had any issues shake out and drive, you know, test drives yet. Well, we, we test drove it after we did the body drop and a few other yep. things. So, mm -hmm. I mean, there's no other, everything else should be fine. I know it's all bolt on stuff, but yeah. you never know, right? You never know. You never know. 99.99% of the time, it's not going to be a thing. I really want to drive it for selfish reasons, just because it's a cool looking truck. I know. Well, we could. And we probably shouldn't. Okay. Yeah, let's let's not do it. Let's put let's let, if it's going to get dirty going to Mid America, then that's that's their prerogative. We'll, we'll let we'll let Eric get the first bugs. Exactly. All right, so here it is. The sun has gone down, and here is the truck all lit up. So underneath this thing's got like 20 uh, red underglow lights. So it's, uh, it's fire wire and then in the T-bars there is uh, six trucks, red, red, four inch lights inside the you know, backside of the T-bar. And then we got 
the rest is all the fire wire lights going under the truck. Um, pretty awesome looking. Of course, you got all your underglow on the cabin sleeper panels. The back of this thing looks amazing. Can you imagine if it was really, really dark? Uh, the, the amber and the red lights like really travel a long way. But you've got all the light from our shop lights out here, so it's pretty bright. But nonetheless, the thing looks amazing. And then when you go inside, it's got a ton of interior accent lighting also. Pretty sweet. Definitely cool ride. All right, guys, that is it for the video. Eric's truck turned out absolutely amazing. Uh, the the whole lighting package on this truck is pretty stellar, and. Um, Pretty excited for him to pick this thing up, take it to Louisville, and if you're coming, make sure to go check it out. It will be in the Bridge Hall booth. Uh, so just when you get your directory, look up Bridge Hall. I don't know their booth number, but uh, I'd say if you walk around, this thing will be pretty easy to pick out amongst the crowd. It is a super amazing job. Um, Eric, on the detailing side of this thing, did just, just primo. Thing's super slick. Like I was saying before, I'm pretty sure if a bug hits this truck, it's gonna speed up and fly off. But um, we love it. It's, uh, it's an awesome truck and uh, can't wait for everybody to get to check this thing out in Louisville next week. And um, you know, tell us what you think about in the comments. What do you like, what do you think about the truck? You like it, you love it, you hate it? You can't hate it, it's too cool. But uh, make sure you do all this stuff. Like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, at Semi Casual Show. We're on TikTok, at Semi Casual Show. And uh, our new website is launching uh, first of this coming week here. So. Uh, stay tuned because we got a ton of cool parts, uh, tons of pictures, and a lot more stuff you can interact with on our website. It's pretty neat and we're pretty excited to be putting that out. So make sure to be checking that out regularly because we're really close. It's fixing to, fixing to go live. And that's semicasualshow.com. Otherwise, we'll catch you guys on the next video. Later. Later.